do. Well, Aaron Burt, the Associate Director of Communications at Denver Botanic Gardens, is with us this morning. Aaron, it's so good to see you. Here we are with the holidays. Yep. <laughs> it's a good, good time, though. Yes. Well, Aaron, 38 years. How has the Blossom of Lights evolved over three decades? Yes, it has grown tremendously. If anybody visited it back in the, uh, 1985 when it started. Mm -hmm. It would be a completely different event now. It's over a one mile path that goes through the gardens, more than one million lights. Oh my um, gosh. So it is quite an experience. Over one million lights, I have to definitely experience that. What would you say is new this year? Every year we introduce a new feature and this year it is a revamped amphitheater display. Okay. We have, um, all these light sticks that are choreographed to music and it's a whole new system. So the lights are brighter and the music oh. is much more, um, the technology is much stronger for the choreography. And we're looking at it right now. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, here's the thing, everyone. If you're like, well, I can't really make it to Denver. There's also Trail of Lights at Chatfield Farms. What can we expect there? Sure, Trail of Lights is a very different, but no less uh, beautiful experience because it's at our Chatfield Farms location, which is much bigger. Okay. Um, 700 acres versus the 20 and it's a more um, Colorado country experience because we have the historic farm, um, but there are a lot of new features there this year, like a lot more uh, choreographed music and light displays. Oh, that also sounds like a wonderful time. And what better way to bring in that holiday cheer with the family than to visit either of these. Now, do you need tickets in advance or what's the best way to plan to visit one of these? Definitely get your tickets in advance. Um, there are still a lot of nights available, but some dates have sold out. And really? we do not okay. do tickets at the door. So make sure you plan ahead and okay. get your tickets in advance at the Gardens website. The Gardens website. Now, it, that's so good to know that some days are already sold out and planning is going to be big here. Okay, anything else we need to know about either one of these places and why it's so fantastic to visit? Well, they are just both really incredible holiday traditions in Denver, sure. in the Colorado area. And um, we see families that come back year after year. Uh -huh. and we also have hot chocolate and snacks at both locations too. Oh, sounds wonderful. Okay, everyone, Erin, so good to have you today. Thank you. Make those plans and make this a holiday tradition. Get your tickets right now for the Trail of Lights and Blossom of Lights at botanicgardens.org.